how she felt like the Africans definitely should know something about racism or at least should know something about race considering that um, you know they had to deal with colonizers like African Americans had to deal with colonizers. Now based on the book stand <laughs> American we all remember the first time that we experienced racism we remember the time the day we know that it's something that we hope that we never have to experience again and unfortunately living in the United States we're always going to experience some type of racism even in 2023 I can remember the first time that I experienced racism I am from the south and so you know racism was all around me I was 10 or 11 years old I was with my cousin and we were we went into the grocery store my uncle sent us into the grocery store to get some snacks I was spending the night over her house we had got the snacks we were in line and I dropped my quarter on the ground a lady in front of me she picked up the quarter she gave it back to me and there was a man behind us of course he was not the same color as as me and my cousin of course and he told the lady in front that he would have just stepped on the quarter for plain meanness and he would not have given it to me he would not have handed it to me he would have kept his foot on the quarter just to be mean and i remember looking back at him because i didn't really understand why he said that because i was thinking well that's mean for you to say that to a child um and so being 10 or 11 you don't really know what racism is or or being in a racist situation i had no idea that's that's what that experience was until I told my uncle and my dad and my mother and then they you know they went ahead and explained to me what what went on and why that man was mean to me and why he decided to say that to me and I just remember thinking to myself really like you don't like another race that much that you would tell a child that you were going to just step on a quarter to be mean like really that's really deep that's really deep but as an African-American, racism is just something that we have learned exists. We want it to be eradicated. We don't want to have to deal with it. We don't want our children to deal with it. And a lot of times when you talk to African-Americans, we're always talking about the racist situations that we are still dealing with in 2023. So it's no surprise when we become friends with or you get into a relationship with a person from an African continent and you tell them of these experiences that a lot of times they don't understand it. I know me and my husband have had numerous conversations when it came to race and racism and a lot of times I'm left shocked with just him not really having the same perspective as I do when it comes to racism and I'm going to talk about how that can sometimes change when you're talking to somebody from an African continent um, but yes when it comes to race when it comes to racism Africans and African Americans definitely see it a whole different way so there's a lady on TikTok a black lady on TikTok and basically she asked the question do Africans uh, see race the way we do or how do they see race do they even see it and she's not really understanding why that is and this all stemmed from pretty much a, a comment that she saw from a video and so that of course prompted her to create her own video and I'm just going to give my opinion on it because I definitely feel like some of the questions that she asked I'm able to answer it being that I'm married from somebody from an African country so um, let us get into the video I have a real question for Africans how do Africans see race? Like after all of this time and after everything that's happened, I'm a hundred percent sure that colonization happened all around the world. I'm a hundred percent sure that Africans had to suffer at the hands of Europeans due to colonization. Africans suffered atrocities. Africans suffered genocide. Africans suffered uh, mutilation, torture, rape. Um, a lot of the same things that African Americans um, endured the only difference is that they were left with their culture and they were left with their tribes and their traditions whereas Americans African Americans we didn't have any of that because it was basically like a mixture of different parts of 
um, the African continent, just a different countries from the African continent, just groups of people brought together and stripped of everything that they knew. And they had no source to go and find it because, well, they were in a new land surrounded by new things. So they had to basically adapt to the circumstance that was around them. So the first thing that definitely needs to be said is that there are four, 54 countries in Africa. And a lot of times we still find ourselves lumping that continent into one big country as if one country experiences something and that means everybody else experiences it. We don't really do that with any other continent. We do specify whether or not it's Germany, whether or not it's Italy, whether or not it's Poland, or if it's China or Japan or any other type of Asian country. We always uh, specify when it's outside of the African continent what country we're talking about and we definitely need to do the same thing when we're talking about the continent of Africa which country are you talking about there are uh, you know I could say at least one country in Africa that definitely does understand racism because of who lives there but then if you go to another country in Africa then no they're going to see race a little different which is what I'm going to talk about in this video first thing that she talked about was colonization and how she felt like the Africans definitely should know something about racism or at least should know something about race considering that um, you know they had to deal with colonizers like African Americans had to deal with colonizers. Now based on the book Stamped by Ibram, Ibram Kendi, a whole chapter was designated to what's called human hierarchy. And the Europeans from the get-go went into these African civilizations and had already labeled them as inferior based on their skin tone. And so it was Europeans that really put race as far as the labeling goes because they wanted to dehumanize the Africans so that they could justify enslaving them and they could justify mistreating them. And the only way they could do that was by kind of labeling labeling it as far as their skin tone. There was nothing else that they could really base it on but that. So she went ahead and said the Africans and African Americans should have some kind of similarity since we both pretty much had some interaction with colonizers. Now the difference is that she said is that the Africans were able to keep their culture whereas African Americans we def we had to pretty much get rid of our identity, our language and all of that kind of stuff. Now what I have to say to that is um, that as soon as the enslaved people got into the boats uh, racism was already a part of that whole situation. Um, they were already mistreated from the very get-go to the just because they were black. That's it. Um, and so that's something that was is taught to, to those enslaved Africans early and when they set the foot off into the American soil that's all that they were met with. They were met with racism, mistreatment due to the color of their skin. And of course you continue to pass that on from generation to generation because you are not away from the colonizers. The colonizers are still there. The slaves had to live with the colonizers. They had to learn how to, you know, live life with the colonizers. Uh, you know, and so that's the reason why that continued to be that way from generation to generation as far as racism. Africans, of course, had a whole different type of relationship with colonizers. Once the colonizers were done with the African civilizations, they left. They left. They didn't have to worry about them anymore. They didn't have to live amongst their colonizers anymore. They were done. And so then those generations then didn't have to continue to talk about or talk about race or talk about racism because it's no longer an issue. So, you know, when you talk to Africans from African countries now, um, yes, they dealt with racism, but they, they, they dealt with indirect racism is what they dealt with when it, when it came to the colonizers. And someone did say that in their comments as far as indirect racism, and I like the way they put that. Whereas African Americans dealt with direct racism, and we are still dealing with direct racism. So those are two different types of racism there as far as uh, the perception of racism and that's the reason why you want to see it a whole different way. Now what I think is, is interesting um, when it comes to this is that a lot of times African Americans and Africans are not able to see the reason why there is a difference when it comes to race and why they're not able to, to, to see that perspective. When you go to a country in Africa, depending on what African country that you're going to, that you've gone to, you're going to see those same group of people. When I go to Ghana, I see Ghanaians. 
So if I'm going to Ghana and I see Ghanaians and that's all you see, racism is, racism is not going to be a part of their life. How can it? They are in a country with their own. Now you might have some disagreements with tribes, but it has nothing to do with skin tone. It has something to do with different communities. So that's a different situation. When you go to the United States of America though, the colonizers are still there. They haven't left. We're having to live amongst descendants of colonizers. So we are continually to continuing to have to deal with direct racism because we have not been able to separate ourselves from the descendants of colonizers. They're still there. So we have to continue to deal with the racism then because you know that's just <laughs> that's where we are. That's where the United States of America is. The colonizers have left those countries, a lot of you know those countries in Africa where we're having to still live with the descendants of colonizers. So that's the reason why our uh, perspective on race is going to be different from somebody from the African country. And I think people from the African country also need to see and understand why African Americans are constantly talking about racism because again, the descendants of colonizers are still there and we still have to live amongst them and they still have that same mentality and they're still treating us the same way they treated our ancestors when they got off that slave boat. So that's something that we have to continue to, to experience. And you have to understand that as someone who is not from the United States of America when you're talking to an African American while racism is such an issue to us because it's something that we're still having to deal with. And then as far as African Americans, we need to see the same when it comes to somebody from the African continent because with them not having to deal with the descendants of colonizers, racism is, no, is, is not an issue and it's not something that they really, really fully understand in the context that we understand. When I talked to my husband, he would always say he didn't know anything about race until he came to the United States of America. And then of course, there you go. Now when you go to South Africa, because they are still living amongst descendants of colonizers, then of course racism is still running very rampant in South, South Africa. It's just like in the United States of America. They're having to live amongst the colonizers. So of course um, their, their experience is going to be different than somebody living in Ghana, somebody living in Kenya, somebody living in Rwanda. So that is that. So in the description box, if you are a person from an African country, please let me know what is your perspective on race? How do you see race? Um, and how do you feel when an African American is given their experiences when it comes to race and racism? I am Michelle Mazel. Thank you all for watching. Make sure that you like and subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Bye.